Today I'm adding two more drives to my NAS. I've already have four two terabyte drives in here in these four, first four slots and today I'm going to add two more three terabyte drives and I just wanted to go over the process. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see the adapters. Hopefully it will come out but way in the back there you can see where, where your power and SATA adapters are at. And I've noticed you just want to make sure that you push them in nice and firm. Don't be afraid to, you're not going to break them. That's the only problem I've had is where I haven't put them in far enough. Or, and here, I don't know if this will be able to zoom in or not. Turn that light off. But uh, here's your SATA connector, and then right here you got your this wider one is your going to be your power connector. So we're going to go ahead and throw these in, and then uh, we'll go over. I'll show you the process of enlarging your current volume. There you can kind of feel it click pretty good, and you just press that down. And so now I'm going to be running a total of six discs in my eight eight capacity NAS. And I went through and checked out the the total volume or total available amount should be around 11 terabytes when I'm done with with a disk redundancy of one. I think if I went to two. Uh, disk redundancy of two, it knocked it down to just eight terabyte. But uh, we'll go over that stuff in a little bit. All right, so I've installed my new two ter or two three terabyte hard drives into my NAS. Uh, you've just seen the footage of that. I wanted to point out I didn't mention it earlier, but I did power down my NAS, and the, as far as I know, the eighteen twelve is hot swappable so maybe you can add them while it's running but I just chose to shut it down and add them that way and then one other thing I wanted to mention these particular drives I did go with the Seagate brand I went away from the I wanted to do Western Digital Reds but I found out that from what I read and if I'm wrong someone dropped me a comment in the, the forum or in the underneath the video here but if I am wrong as far as I know that Synology NAS won't use the TLER error correction and that's one of the major things that I thought the red, red drives had going for them and since uh, the Synology NAS is a software RAID it, it won't take advantage of that TLER so other than they claim to be better built but it's really hard saying if they truly are better built so I'm gonna I just ended up going with these uh, three terabyte Seagates uh, Barracuda 7200 RPM and I ended up getting them for I think both of them for hundred and eighty dollars so ninety ninety dollars a piece which was about as low since low as I've seen them since the floods but all right we'll just go on to expanding the volume uh, you can either go up to your kind of your Synology start menu here and go to the storage manager I have I have a shortcut right here on the desktop so once you're in here you're gonna see your existing I have just one volume and you can see my four existing disks that are already initialized but uh, you don't see my two that I just added. So to get those up and running, we're going to want to go to the Manage button, assuming that you want to add them to, to this original volume, which is what I'd like to do. So we're going to go to the Manage button. And once you're here, you're, you're going to have a few options, but the other ones are grayed out, it looks like. And you just want to expand the volume by adding hard disks. You'll just click next and then here it's going to show the two drives that I added 
uh, with a total of 2.73 terabyte. Uh, on the Synology website, there's a really good ca calculator. I'll try and put it in the show notes, but it, it it'll it lets you play around with the possibilities of what size drive and and whether or not you want to do the Synology Hybrid RAID one or two or and you can compare it it has two two slots so you can compare it to a RAID 5 or even a RAID 10 or a RAID 6 and see how it would compare to a similar RAID so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to check this box right here and it's going to select both the drives because I want to add both and we'll click next it's going to warn us that you know it's going to erase everything we'll say OK and it says capacity about 9.98 terabyte when I'm done so we'll go ahead and hit apply and this should take quite a while but this is my first time doing it so I'm not not for sure but I know it it took quite a while just to build build my original raid so we'll give it a little bit and see I'll kind of update I'll let you guys know how how long it actually did take in the end it seems to be in the process of expanding and as far as I know I'll, I'll be able to use use it in the meantime but I'm, I'm not for sure because this is the first time I've actually expanded my volume but uh, in a nutshell, that's pretty much how you do it. If uh, if you guys have any comments, please uh, feel free to post. Uh, in the future here, I want to go over some of the other features that are built into, into the Synology NAS. Like this video station looks really promising. Uh, they're working on getting an app for your for your Android based devices they already have a video station app for your Apple or your iOS devices so but uh, I'm, I'll do just a completely separate video on that that will be coming up here in the next couple weeks hopefully if time permits but uh, thanks for watching the video and I hope this helped